In the following presentation, we're going to look at the definition of solid tools for mill, router and stone, multiprocessing of 3D machining operations utilizing multi-core hardware processing, and the ability to input space claim models into AlphaCam. So we're going to go to the file menu and we're going to go to input CAD and on the file type list we can see we've got a new input which is space claim. We can say OK to that. Here I have a, a space claim file which is SC doc, a space claim doc. If I right click on this and open, I've loaded a um, free viewer onto my laptop and you can see here and um, the tool the file that's come in, the solid model. So if we open, and as we see as the space claim file comes in, we've got the same, and obviously it's maintained the colors as well as they've come into the part. A couple of bits of information that I want to have a look at this solid um, later on for the tool definition is the tool length, and also the point at which the um, holder goes into the spindle nose as we know it as a gauge length. So I'm going to go to Utilities, Report Coordinates of the Arc Center of here. And I can see down at the prompt bar that's approximately 93, which is fine. OK, we'll do that again. Report Coordinates of the Arc Center of here. And that point's going to go into Spindle Nose. And I can see that's about 116. So if we go to the File menu now, sorry, the Machine menu, and we go down to Define Tool, flat end tool. So we've got a tool number and an offset number. Let's make those the same. So the tool length is a value that we, we reported, which was 93, and we've got a diameter of 16. Let's just put some fixed speeds and feeds in here. Maybe a spindle speed of 5,000. And we'll put in a feed rate and the down feed. So what we now have is a new button in here, a simulation. And we're going to use advanced tool graphics and the, um, the tool tip to gauge length is now in this dialog box and this is 116. Okay. Um, pick reference point, well that's going to be 000, which is fine. Pick all the um, solids in this case. And now what do we want to save the tool away as? So if I now go to the machine menu and I select a tool, and we can see that we've got the, the solid tool there. So let's use this tool now to do some um, machining of a solid. So we're just going to go to the file menu and open. And in here we have a simple 3D solid. What I now want to do is um, get a material around the outside. So I'm going to do a rectangle from the end point and we're going to snap on the corner of the solid which is going to project the geometry up into flatland the current work plane we're going to use the offset command offset by a distance of eight a complete geometry around the outside now what i want to do is find out from the model um, the depth of this material so we're just going to go to solid model utilities face edge point details if I navigate around the solid, it gives me the information. So if I pick on the corner, I can see that my depth's minus 25. So if I go back to the 3D menu, set materials, pick the square, and we're going to go down to minus 25. I'm going to go ahead and select that tool, that solid tool that I previously defined. And we're going to go to the machine menu and we're going to do some 3D solid machining, Z contour roughing. So I'm going to do some contour machining and we're going to be optimized. Say so OK to that. Safe rapid level, rapid down to, and now we've got um, a maximum depth of cut of four millimeter. And what we're interested in here also is the intermediate slices. So we've got that set to one. OK. Um, tool number speeds and feeds obviously from the tool definition and we've got 0.25 stock in X and Y and Z. So if we say um, machining and then finish, it's created the tool path for me. So if I right click now and do a solid simulation and play, 
So now we can see our nice um, solid tool. See solid tools are currently only supported in um, solid simulation and not in um, center simulator. And those are the intermediate slices that we talked about. So it's taken um, four mil cuts initially and then it's going back round to take the one mil off. Um, a little bit like um, rest machining. So if we come out of here now, we're going to want to take some more machining for good housekeeping. Let's just hide our first toolpath, go to the machine menu, select another tool, which is our eight ball. And we're going to go to the machine menu. Again, 3D solid machining, some finished machining. And we're going to do parallel to a boundary. Select the boundary. Tool number speeds and feeds, so we're happy with all of that. Um, width of cut is two, and we're machining um, optimized. So we're familiar with this. So let's say the solid, and then finish, and it creates the, the tool path for me. I can right click on the operation and edit it. The associativity and editability is greatly improved within AlphaCam. So I'm going to put a step over a 0.25. Say OK to that. And it's created the toolpath for me. Um, okay, again about the editability and associativity. I'm going to put a fillet radius of 50 on the top right-hand corner. Um, I've got a an asterisk to say that my associativity has changed, so I'm just going to use the update command, and here it's going to update the toolpath for me. So if we show the um, initial operation, the Z contour roughing. We're just going to right click on this and we're going to edit it and just change it to a very fine step over, some depth of cut. So we're going to change the depth of cut to 0.5 and the um, intermediate slices to 0.25. So when we say OK to this, we can see we've got processing, the toolpath is being processed. So what it's using is multi-core technology. This means that I have the ability to go on and continue using AlphaCam um, to do another operation, in this case a feature extraction, rather than having to wait for that toolpath to finish. Let's just finish off this part now um, and we've got a machining style. And we can run this to all and finish. So as I said, the last thing that we were looking at there was the, the processing which it allows us to use multi-core technology on our hardware. Uh, while it was processing, we can also right-click on the command and abort it, so to change the settings.